looking to buy a vacant lot in Northport? In this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know and we're getting started right now. If you're looking to buy or sell a home or a lot in Northport, make sure to call, text, or email me. I am a local realtor here. My information will be in the description box below. She hears from people all the time and I love hearing what she's hearing from you. So first things first, what's a typical vacant lot in Northport? What's the size? Typical vacant lot in Northport, it's a quarter to a half an acre, but there is the opportunity, as you can see behind us, you, there is the opportunity of buying multiple lots, a double lot, or an oversized lot. Yeah, that's one thing I think that's very intriguing about Northport in general. You can get some bigger lots and then also buy multiple lots. Maybe have them side by side. You can almost have like a park next to your house. You could put a basketball court up. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities. I'm a basketball guy, so yeah. that's, that's what I think of. But there's a lot of different possibilities with having that space that you're just not going to get in a lot of the rest of the area around here. Venice, Inglewood, you name the area. There's just not as much opportunity for that kind of thing to happen. So let's talk builders. Now, that's one of the things that I think is also intriguing about this area because you can get some, um, there, I, whether you build brand new or get a spec home, there's just some amazing custom builds around here. And there's also some spec homes. So if you want something a little more affordable, there's a lot of options for that. And then there's some awesome like custom type builds where you can have, we've seen some crazy unique houses in, in the Northport area that again, you don't really see as often in some of the other areas. So what are some of the good builders here? Some of the builders that I do like are Adams Homes and they are in North Fort Venice and Port Charlotte. I do believe they're like in other areas too, like down by Cape Coral, but I love their houses. They have different houses for different budgets. There's also LGI homes and they are lower priced. Another one that stands out to me that I remember from when we were looking, because we were considering moving to North Fort is Bright Homes. They have yes. extremely, like they're super modern looking, black and white, lots of grays. And then they are big on like energy efficiency and things like that. Solar panels, if you want, they'll include that in the build. So they're kind of a unique option on that side Yes, and they are very top of the line, like their top of the line model homes are amazing. <laughs> yeah, super soundproof, super well insulated, just yeah, very unique homes. We also have other builders like they are Hortons, Miranda Homes, they are here as well. But it really just depends if you are building on a vacant lot in Northport or if you want to be in more of established or developed community like Welland Park. We have a lot of different builders yeah, there. Tons of builders there. And of course, you know, as always, every person is going to be looking for something different. Someone like you might want something top of the line. Maybe you want something a little more affordable spec home. So the best way to kind of find the right match for you, get a hold of her and she can really guide you towards the builder that's right for you. Because it's not really easy for us to say, well, this is the best builder because yes. everyone's looking for something different. Yes. And there is a lot of different builders in the area that we can't, you know, just go and list them all in this video. But there's a lot of different builders. Some are great some not so good so you do want to be careful when you are looking to build a home just because you don't want to make a mistake of hiring the wrong builder next thing you need to know about moving to northport area is gopher tortoises now that's a very important consideration because there's gopher tortoises on a lot of these like these lots you can see all this empty land behind us it's on this side and it's also I'm gonna spin you around here to <laughs> this side right so they're gonna be a lot in a lot of the different wooded areas there's a lot of sand in Florida and they'll dig holes in the sand and they are protected in Florida. I actually have a friend that lives in Vegas. He said they're protected there too, I believe. So it must be like sort of a nationwide thing. Anyways, if you have a gopher tortoise that sets up shop on a lot that you bought, it does cost money to get them to get them removed in an ethical way. Uh, maybe you can explain more about that process because you deal with that more because she's a realtor. I just kind of help out with <laughs> yes, what I can. I've watched YouTube videos where people will say, you know, like, oh, if you know, there's a gopher tortoise there, you can't buy the lot and you can't build. You can actually buy the lot and all you have to do is just pay it about thousand dollars two thousand dollars to just get them removed from your lot and they'll take them to a different area a lot of times people ask me too like well should i pay right away to get them removed well if you're not ready to build no because then another turtle, <laughs> another tourist is just gonna come and set up shop so you don't want to do that you do that when you're ready to start building when you're ready you know to clear the lots because that's another thing you should know a lot of lots are going to look like what you see right now they are not cleared until you're ready to break ground building and if you want to keep a certain tree or a few trees palm trees you are able to do that you just have to be in communication with your builder as to what you want to keep there 
Another thing that has to be considered on the wildlife side of things is scrub jays. Again, another protected species. Again, that will cost some money to get those removed. About a thousand dollars as well. Um, so it's not too much to get them removed, especially because lots here in Northport are, in my opinion, they are priced very well, very affordably. So another thousand, couple thousand dollars, you know, on top of what you're paying for the lot, it's not that much in my opinion. Yeah, and that's one other thing to note. I think. Uh, before we get too much further, there's just the amazing value. I mean, prices have gone up since yes. everywhere the prices have gone up, but especially in the Northport area, things have gone up because of the Welland Park area that's coming in nearby. When we're talking in this video, we're mainly talking about like Northport, Northport. Welland Park's kind of like its own thing, but because of Welland Park coming in, that's gonna bring more amenities to the area, a new downtown shops, things like that. So the values have risen here and Northport is like one of the fastest growing areas. That being said, it's still a pretty good value for yes. what you can get a lot. So that having all the new stuff coming to the area, there's still, as you can see, plenty of space like to grow into and still live in a very quiet area. To me, that makes it very good value right now. Yeah, speaking of which, we've been walking for, I would say five minutes or so, and this is the first car we've seen in this neighborhood. And that's a lot of Northport, the area that it's being developed because there is like three different sides of Northport, the older side of Northport, the center or the city of Northport, and then the outskirts where all the vacant lots are. And most of the areas where the vacant lots are, are going to look like this. All the neighborhoods are going to be pretty similar. On that note, one thing we got to be very careful of when we're looking to buy a lot in Northport, well, I should say careful, but you want to have an awareness of is electricity and water. Talk to us a little bit about those two things. So most of Northport is going to be on well and septic, especially the areas where all the new builds are taking place, except if you're in a, you know, developed like an HOA community but most of those vacant lots are going to be on well and septic some if you do get lucky you could get on city water and then the other expense is the electricity if you don't have electricity that's another fee that you're going to have to pay the county so that they can come out and get you the electricity speaking of which you can see behind us here that's this is a lot for a sale. power pole <laughs> that's the last power pole in and, this whole area and yeah over here where we just came from there's no power lines there so for example this lot back here it's for sale um if you want to show them where the last pole is you would have to pay to get the electricity down to your lot and that's around three thousand dollars or so to get the county to come out it just depends how far the that's last is. Right, that's per pole, mm -hmm. 33,000 of maybe like 3,500. Another important thing that we got to talk about, and I think a lot of people, especially if you're not from Florida, that they're worried about is floods, hurricanes, flood insurance, all that kind of stuff. Talk to us about that. Yes, so if you are building your own home in Northport, what the builder will do is uh, they'll raise up your home so that it's not on a flood zone. So your actual home will not be on a flood zone. And this is uh, per the county, like those are regulations and rules that your builder will have to follow. So, but the only thing is that since you are raising up all the newer homes, the new construction homes, your home will not be on a flood zone, but your street might be on a flood or zone. part of your lot. For or matter. part of your lot, yes. But if you're buying like a resale home, just make sure that it's on a, out of the flood zone. And again, you know, homes will be raised up a little bit. So that creates kind of like a ditch in between the road and the house. And those are made on purpose basically, because that way that's how you keep the houses out of the flood zone. And we have seen some pockets of Northport where like the road itself kind of is the ditch mm -hmm. and they almost basically plant on the water all just sitting in the road. So that's something to consider. It could kind of keep you trapped in your house and make yes. it hard to drive anywhere if you do get a heavy downpour which we do get some of those in this in the summers you know obviously tropical storms hurricanes that's definitely one thing to consider that you you'll want to have that lot raised which most builders uh, all builders really well around do. here they have to and they are well aware of that situation so they kind of handle all those things and you don't got to worry about it yes and the other part of it is what if you fall in love with a house that is on a flood zone do you need flood insurance the answer is it depends if you're paying cash, then that's an option that, you know, you can decide if you want to have flood insurance or not. And then if you don't have flood insurance and something did happen, then, you know, you have to repair, make the repairs yourself. If you are financing, though, your lender might require you to have flood insurance. It just depends on if you're on a flood, like a very high risk area 
then you probably most definitely will have flood insurance. But if you're on a low risk area, you may or might not. So that's some like that's a conversation you will have to have with your lender and you know they'll let you know and i will let you know if you use me as your realtor if you're in a flood zone or not or if you're in a low to high risk flood zone area if you are looking to buy a lot in the northport area and you want someone that's got your back and is very knowledgeable call text or email us we'll have our information linked in the description box below we hear from people all the time we love it if you found the video helpful be sure to leave a comment let us know also let us know if you have any other questions like subscribe hit all the buttons down below and live, live breezy, breezy.